Canadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Thursday, December 28, 2023. Good morning. I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with last night's New Year's Smash edition of Dynamite broadcast live on TBS from the Edition Financial Arena in Orlando, Florida. In the main event, the Devils masked men used an illegal double team to pin MJF in a two-on-one match to win the Ring of Honor World Tag Team title. MJF was not joined by his tag team partner for the match, Samoa Joe, who appeared to have been injured in a backstage angle. Joe came out to make the save for MJF when he was attacked by the masked man after the match, only to immediately turn on him and attack him with a steel chair. Oh, no. No, 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 no! Ah! Has Joe been working with the devil this whole time? I think Joe definitely has been working with the devil. Guys, I, I, I agree. He's in league with the devil himself. And now, I'm a pleasure doing business with you. And look at him. He's walking fine now. I did this to you. Is Joe now? Oh, no. Oh, he's going to go muscle bust on that bad shoulder. Oh, my God. Oh. Center of the ring, the muscle buster. Samoa Joe has laid out the AEW World Champion, MJF. The finals of both the gold and blue leagues of the Continental Classic Tournament were held. John Moxley winning a triple threat over Swerve Strickland and Jay White to win the gold, and Eddie Kingston topping Brian Danielson to take the blue. After Kingston's win, he was confronted by Moxley, who is now set to be his opponent in the final deciding match of the Continental Classic Tournament, scheduled for Saturday at World's End. During an in-ring promo segment, Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara reunited after Guevara was jumped by his former Don Callis family allies, powerhouse Hobbs, Kyle Fletcher, and Kanosuke Takeshita, and Jericho made the save. The reunited Jericho and Guevara were then jumped by AEW World Tag Team Champions Big Bill and Ricky Starks until the lights went out and Sting and Darby Allin ran in to make another save. Adam Copeland and Christian Cage also brawled during a backstage interview segment with numerous AEW wrestlers coming in to break them up. Whoa. Just ask me some What the hell? Also on the show, Sky Blue defeated Chris Statlander thanks in part to outside interference from TBS champion Julia Hart. In ratings news, this week's Christmas Night Best of 2023 recap episode of Monday Night Raw drew a total audience of 698,000 to USA Network, which would be the lowest audience for any episode in Raw's history. Last year's Best of episode during Christmas week was the previous record holder with an audience of 1.074 million. The rating in the key 18 to 49 year old demographic was a 0.18, down from last year's key demo rating of 0.27. Last weekend's edition of AEW Collision drew a total audience of 489,000 viewers, up 7% from the previous week's audience of 457,000, according to WrestleNomics. In the key 18 to 49 year old demographic, the show attained a 0.16 rating, which is also up 7% from last week. In legal news, Tammy Sitch's prison release date has been announced following her sentence on charges of DUI manslaughter. The former Sonny is set to be released by the Florida Department of Corrections on January 7, 2040. Sitch and her legal team had appealed earlier this month to shorten the length of her imposed 17-and-a-half-year sentence, but the appeal appears to have been unsuccessful as her jail time includes time already served in 2023. And in news from outside the ring, ESPN.com released its list of the best of pro wrestling for 2023. Cody Rhodes was recognized as Male Wrestler of the Year, while Rhea Ripley was named Female Wrestler of the Year. Other award winners were FTR for Tag Team of the Year, CM Punk for Debut of the Year, LA Knight for Breakthrough Wrestler of the Year, and MJF as Promo Artist of the Year. 
Match of the year was Kenny Omega against Will Ospreay from Forbidden Door, while WrestleMania 39 won pay-per-view of the year and storyline of the year went to the Bloodline 2.0. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and 7 days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.